to another video. Today I am starting a weekly reading vlog. Well, it's somewhere between a weekly reading vlog and a weekend reading vlog. It's actually Thursday. Um, but my plan for this weekend's video was to have my buying, building and organising my first Billy, Billy bookcase video. But if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I drove all the way to Ikea yesterday to find that they didn't have any in stock. It was a really emotional time, but I got my McDonald's and that kind of cheered me up, so it's fine. Although I was heartbroken about not having my bookcase, I also wasn't going to have any content for this weekend. So I've decided today, Thursday, to start a reading vlog to put up this weekend, probably Sunday. Um, to be honest, I kind of like to just do a weekly reading vlog every week anyway, so... If I'm not doing my reading the Moral Instruments books for the first time vlogs, I'll probably do a weekly reading vlog where I'll start on the Monday, film up until the Saturday or Sunday and then quickly edit and put it up. So yeah, it's about 10.30 right now. I do have work at 12, I'm working 12 till 8 today. So I've just been chilling this morning, having my coffee. I've been listening to the audiobook for Monday's Not Coming. I've actually just started that, so I'm on about 9%. Um, so not much has happened to so far but I am really intrigued. I've heard amazing things about this book everywhere at the moment um, and I've heard there's like a really big twist about halfway through so I'm kind of waiting for that and like it's kind of annoying because now I know there's a twist I'm like looking out for clues and I'm thinking hmm I'm trying to like work out what's going on but so far I've got no clue. But yeah really enjoying that so far so I've just been listening to that having my morning coffee, I've been filling in my to-do list for the day and I also have a little diary where I log like symptoms because I've been having all sorts of issues since I came off my pill so I'm just trying to like track what's going on there so that I can talk to the doctor about it. But yeah and then I also sat and replied to some comments from my video that I put up last night which has been really well received which is really nice. I think it's the most watched video in the first night that I've had so far which is great. I've had lots of lovely comments so thank you so much for that. But yeah I think now I really want to pick up a physical book just for like the next hour before I go to work. But I'm torn because I could read, just realised I can't show you the book because my camera is currently sitting on it, <laughs> but I could, how can, can I work this out, can I put, can I, let's like, yeah, I'll put these on instead. There we go, that looks all right. So I could read All the Only People by Mike Gale, I have talked about this in another vlog, um, I got given the arc for this from um, Jamie Platt at Hodron's Dothan and I am on the blog tour for this so I think my review is due on the, I want to say the 16th or 17th of July so I still do have a couple of weeks to read this but I do want to pick it up so I'm torn between starting this right now there's a massive bee in my room See, this is why I don't like opening the windows because things fly in and then they don't know how to get back out again. Okay, I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> I realise if you can't see the bee, I am just going to look a little bit crazy right now, but I promise you there is a bee in this room and it's flying around everywhere and buzzing. But anyway, I am torn between picking this up and reading this over the weekend or all of the books that I ordered in my Come Book Shopping With Me video that went live last night are arriving today so I don't know whether to just wait and wait and pick up one of those because I am really excited for them. I'm really torn but I would like to do some physical reading just now so I don't know if I should just start this. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick up this, I'm going to read this um, I have been really looking forward to reading it so yeah I just have this issue where when I get new books as soon as they arrive I want to read them so I just feel like as soon as they arrive I'm not going to want to read this anymore and I don't want that to like taint my opinion of it no I'm going to start this just now I'm going to do it I'm going to do it
so I'm now home from work and I have come home to so much book mail. So if you watched my last video you will know that I went on a little book buying spree online last week and spent £45 on books that I really wanted to read. So you'll already know what these are if you have been watching my channel but I'm just going to go ahead and unbox them just now anyway so you can see how happy I am to get them. So I'll start with this big one. This is the Waterstones one so it should have three books in here. Let's try this. Not too shabby. Okay, so the first one I have is only mostly devastated and this is one that I've seen all over booktube recently and I've been getting so excited to read it myself and um, it's basically as far as I'm aware a queer retelling of Greece which sounds amazing um, and it also says on the back here perfect for fans of Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda and I absolutely love that book so I'm going to read this we got next oh Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this cover. It's like, I mean, you're not going to see it. I don't know why I'm bringing it closer to the camera, but it's like, it's kind of like cardboardy. You know, like this one is like all glossy and shiny and feels nice, and this is like car. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I am really excited to read this book. So I'm pretty sure from what I've heard this is very much sort of like it's all about like exploring the character and more about character development than it is about plot or anything like that and it's all about like her personality, the things she's been through and it's supposed to touch on some really important issues which as I always say is something that I need in a book. So yeah, very excited to read that. And finally, and then I have Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Law, though it might not be trending anymore, but Black Lives Matter movement will still go and will always go on and I think it is so important to continue to educate ourselves and that's why I bought this book because I've heard that it's really good, especially for allies to read, to really sort of understand what is going on in our society in terms of race and how we relate to one another. So, so I'm really looking forward to diving into that one. Next I have an Amazon package and this looks like it has two in it. So mm, this side. Let's try that again shall we? Better. So in <sighs> excited for this book. So I think this is probably the one that I am most excited about for this whole haul and that is Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. I've been wanting to read this ever since I saw Kevin from Irish Reader read it and just absolutely rave about it. Um, as far as I'm aware it's basically about a young drag queen which just sounds amazing and just look at that cover. I mean that's possibly one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's also written in verse, which means when I do pick this up, I will probably finish it within one or two settings. I just, I cannot wait to start this one. Next, I have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, again, this is written in verse, so I should be able to absolutely fly for this when I read it. But I basically said in my major freak out tag that Elizabeth Acevedo was probably my new favourite author of the year and I want to read as many of her books as I possibly can. And I've heard amazing things about Clap When You Land. Again, how beautiful is that cover? I'm just looking at all these books and thinking, oh, I just want like a week off work so I can just literally race through them all. Finally, we have this big package here. I'm not really sure why it's as big as it is because it should just have one normal sized book in it. But anyway, um, let's go with this side. Finally I have I Wish All The Best by Mason Deaver. Again I've been hearing so much about this throughout booktube 
um, and book twitter it sounds amazing not only does it have really good from what i've heard really good lgbtqia plus representation it also deals with anxiety disorder which is something i can relate to and i'm always looking for more books that have representation of anxiety disorder um, as i said in my come shop book shopping video with me i just think it makes you feel when it, anyone for anyone to read something about something they struggle with themselves it just makes you feel really understood really represented and just like you're not alone um so yeah i'm really excited to get to this and also it's floppy and um, could i really call myself a booktuber if i didn't love a floppy paperback my little mini book haul I am so excited to start reading these books and as I suspected I now really want to dive into like all of these books and I'm so tempted to just put down other books so that I can read these like I just I've been waiting so long to read this book but no I'm gonna finish All the Lonely People first I am I'm gonna read that and then I can get stuck into all these afterwards and oh, I'm gonna have an absolute field day when I can do that. It's like 10 at night, I got home quite late from work, don't think I got home until closer to 9 just because it was like a mad finish at work um, and then I've just been like sitting having my dinner and chilling a bit but now I really need to shower because I'm up early for work tomorrow, I start at 9 um, so yeah I think I'm just gonna have a shower, get cosy and maybe read a little bit. I'm gonna aim to read like 50 pages or something just so I can have, feel like I've progressed a little and then yeah it'll be bedtime for me. Okay so rather than read 50 pages I've read about 20 but I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go to my bed. I am on page 74 though because I did read a good chunk, of, well a little chunk earlier on and I'm really really enjoying this so far so when I first started reading it, I honestly thought, like, it was so sad. It's so sad because, obviously, it's all about Hubert Bird, an elderly man. He's, I think he's 86. And he is living a life of loneliness and isolation, to be honest. And he, his daughter calls him every week from Australia um, to tell, just catch up, to tell him all about her life and he has a little notebook where he notes down all of the lies that he tells her every week so he has all these lies about the things he does during the week the friends that he has and he has to write it down in his notebook to make sure that the next time he's talking about all these things he says the same things and he doesn't slip up but really he doesn't really do anything during the week and he's really isolated and doesn't really go out much um and he's just not really very happy to be honest and then the structure is also where one chapter is now, one, the next chapter is um, like 50 years ago or so. Basically it starts off with him first moving to England from Jamaica, because he's originally from Jamaica. He moves to England in his 20s. And then basically each chapter is like now, then, now, then. And in the then chapters it was just all about the racism that he was experiencing when he first moved over so it, it was literally a chapter of loneliness and a chapter of racism and it just seemed like miserable and honestly I was at the point where I was considering putting it down because it was just so sad and I wasn't really prepared for that but around page 50 or so it quickly turned around and it became clear that things were really going to start looking up and that it's going to be a really really good story like obviously it's still sad obviously it's still exploring the same issues but you can see that the plot's moving and I'm just really really intrigued to see where it goes. He's basically got a new neighbour called Ashley and she's got a young daughter and she seems to be wanting to like bring him out of his isolation and he's also found out that his daughter is moving back in four months I believe so he has got four months to fix all the lies he's been telling her and basically create a life for himself so that she won't be angry that he has lied all about it all and just sits on his own miserable all the time because she will just uproot her whole life for him and he doesn't want her to do that so yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes. I think it's going to be really uplifting and 
hopefully have a happy ending but with some really important sentiments in there as well so yeah I'm really excited to keep going with this but right now I really just need to sleep and then hopefully get a huge chunk read tomorrow so I just got home from work and when I came in the nylon table was another Amazon parcel addressed to me and was very confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure I've already opened all the books that I ordered in my come book shopping video. Then I started thinking, have I ordered more books without, rem without remembering? Like, is, is this becoming a problem? Um, but then I opened up the parcel and oh, the lovely Maddie from Book Browse and Blog, um, whose channel I'll link down below. She is amazing. I absolutely love her videos and I've put so many of the books that she's recommended in her videos on my wish list. Um, and yeah, she's just like a lovely, lovely girl. So supportive and just one of the best people. But anyway, she sent me two books from my Amazon wish list, and honestly, I could have cried. Like it was just so sweet. It was such a nice thing to come into on a Friday evening after a long day at work. Um, so the first one was Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour, 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan and I actually added this to my wish list after watching one of Maddie's videos because it just it sounded amazing um, and she put a little note saying this is one of my favourite books so I hope you love it. I cannot wait to read it and she also got me Radio Silence by Alice Oseman and popped the note on you said in your video that you wanted some Alice Oseman and honestly her books are amazing so I hope you enjoy. I am honestly like speechless like this just like might seem like a little thing to some people but this means so much to me and honestly it's just made my week. I cannot wait to get around to reading these books and just Maddie thank you so much you are just the sweetest and honestly I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to get started on these books. So I have actually managed to get quite a lot of reading done today. Um, I've been reading sort of round about work on my lunch break after I finished um, and I'm now on page 235 of All the Lonely People and I'm loving this book. As I said when I first started it was just insanely sad and it is still sad like it still still have like a sad tone to it at times um, but it's just so cute. Like Hubert Bird. He's just the sweetest character. I love him so much. And I'm really, I really, really like the structure of the novel and how, like I said, it goes from from present to past, present to past with every chapter and the two sort the two like timelines sort of like move on together, if that makes sense. So as you get to know more about present Huber, you get to know more about past Huber and like how what he's been through in the past has made him who he is today and yeah I'm just really enjoying it. Basically Huber and his neighbour Ashley have started a like a little pressure group with a campaign to end loneliness in their town and now they've got like a little group of people who are all campaigning to end loneliness um, and just like get together and like make each other happy and it's just so it's just so beautiful I love it I'm really enjoying it I think I've got like just over a hundred pages to go so I've got the smaller part here Um, I don't know how much more I'm going to get read tonight because I am really tired and I'm up again for work tomorrow yes I know working on a Saturday shouldn't be allowed but it is so I need to be up for work tomorrow marking nine till four so yeah I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done tonight and I also don't know how much reading I'm going to get done tomorrow because my family me and my family are having like a little games night with some drinks and everything just spending some good quality time together so I probably won't be doing much reading um so I might not update you at all tomorrow if not I'll see you on Sunday okay guys so I have been a very bad booktuber and I haven't vlogged or read anything for the past two days. It's now Tuesday. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the vlog here. I really should have ended it on Sunday but I have just been in a bit of a funny place. I've been going through some things with my health um, which has mean, meant that I've just really not fancied picking up a camera um, or reading. I've mostly just been lying in bed if I'm not at work. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Hopefully get it edited and up within the next couple of days. But yeah, so I didn't finish the book, obviously. Um, I did make some progress though. So I'm on page 235 of All Lonely People. And as you know, I am really, really enjoying this. It is so both heart-wrenching and heartwarming. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. I only have, I think, just maybe just about 100 pages to go. And I will finish this probably within the next couple of days and I will be putting a review up on my blog because obviously this is part of the blog tour. So if you're interested in that then my blog link will be down below if you want to have a little look at that. And then in terms of my audiobook, obviously I've been listening to Monday's Not Coming, Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson and I am now on 21% of the way through so I've got 7 hours left and I'm also really enjoying that still waiting on that big twist coming up that I know is coming um but yeah it's really intriguing I honestly have no idea what's going on I don't know where Monday is I really don't know yet but I'm excited to find out as always if you enjoyed this video then do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings and I will see you in my next one